Okay, so we're going to have a look at how we can take a photograph, a portrait, and then create this Banksy-like effect where we've got the silhouetted, kind of muted out uh, silhouette of that portrait. Okay, we're going to look at how we use hue and saturation adjustment layers to push and pull the, the contrast of the layer and also do the desaturation. Okay, so we're going to start with this original image. And the first thing we're going to do is actually create a duplicate of the background layer. I've already done this here, but if we just take a, a step back, basically the way that I've done that is by dragging the background layer down to the new layers button at the bottom here and created a duplicate layer. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make a selection of of myself in the middle of this image here. So we're going to come across the left hand panel and use the quick selection tool to do that. Okay, so with the quick selection tool, really what you're doing is dragging across the area of the image that you want to select. Okay, and it will pull the selection of this out pretty well. Okay, so you can see it's jumping um, in some of the areas we can go back in and, and fix that. I'm going to use the, the square brackets to resize my brush. So if you look to the right of your P key, you'll just see a right hand square bracket which will increase the size of your brush and a left hand square bracket which will decrease the size of your brush. And that means we can get into some of this uh, detail here. We'll also zoom in a little as we do this. So I'm zooming in and then with the brush made a little smaller, I'm able to select some of these areas of the image. And, and with the quick selection tool, the more you select, the smarter it gets. So as we kind of select more of the image, um, we'll, we'll get a smarter selection. I'm going to hold down the Alt key here on the keyboard to remove from my selection so I can get some of these gaps back in. So I'm just going to grab some of this and refine my selection. You can see as I do that, it's making a smarter selection of some of the detailed parts of the image. So we'll keep going up here. I haven't got a super high resolution image but we're just going to use this for a Facebook profile image or something like that so it's going to work out uh, fine for what we, we need it for. Okay, And we'll grab some of the hair up here. Okay, So we'll keep coming round, just tidying up the edge of this image and then move round gradually. Just check we've got everything pretty much in here. Okay, and that's looking pretty good for what we need um, for this particular exercise. So what I'm going to do now is actually just refine up here just a tiny bit more. Okay, I should be able to get a reasonable selection of this area just by using the option key to move in between the cables here. Okay. So that looks good enough. We're now going to create a layer mask on this image to create some transparency. Okay, so I'm going to come down to the bottom of my layers panel, hit the layer mask button, and then zoom to fit my image. And you can see now I've got a reasonable um, selection of my image. Okay, so now what we're going to go and do is add a hue saturation adjustment layer to pull the color um, out of this image. So I'm going to grab a hue saturation adjustment layer either from the bottom of my layers panel here. Um, or from up in the adjustments panel here. Now if you don't see some of these panels, just go to window, make sure you're in the essentials view and go to reset essentials and that'll put all the panels back in the same location that I have here. It's a really handy uh, tool. So we're going to add a hue saturation adjustment layer, okay, and we're going to drop the saturation uh, right down, okay, and then we're going to go ahead and add a levels adjustment layer. Now here with a levels adjustment we can do uh, a number of things. So we can pull in the blacks from the left here so that we can get this kind of nice high uh, contrast. Pull in the whites from the right hand side there. Okay, And what we're ending up with is this very kind of dark um, image. Okay, And basically what we want to do is kind of mute this image off a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to drag in this and the white from the sides, okay, and it just means I'm going to get a kind of more muted image. So it's still got that high contrast between the, the foreground and the, the background. I'm just going to pull the whites in a little bit more there, but essentially we're kind of muting it by dragging these in. Okay, so once I've got the, the look of the image that I want, I'm going to come in and just kind of refine some of the edges. So on my edges here at the moment you can see that it's a little bit uh, blurred around the edge and I want to sharpen that up to give it a bit of a harder edge. So I'm going to come to my mask layer here and just double click 
okay and I'm going to refine the, the mask edge now what I want to do is just increase the the contrast of that edge a little bit more because I want this kind of harder edge um, to that image I can also shift the edge here as well now if you're looking to other techniques um, such as masking hair around the edge um, of an image and stuff like that then edge detection and these kind of refinement tools that you can find here in the refine mask are really good tools to to kind of get a handle of okay so you can see now I've got a slightly harder edge to my image now what I'm going to do here is hold down the command key on the Mac or the control key on the PC and it will add a layer behind the layer that I had selected okay and we're going to fill this um, with a color so I'm just going to do shift F5 and it doesn't really matter what color I'm going to fill it with at the moment because I'm going to be able to adjust the hue of that later so I'm just going to pick out um, quickly a nice bright color here fill that background okay now you can see here that the hue saturation is now affecting uh, that background so I want to crop that desaturation and the levels just to the the mask of my image and the way I'm going to do that is just by right clicking on that layer and creating a clipping mask okay and that's going to keep the the levels adjustment and the hue saturation adjustment just to that image okay and you can see I've got a bit of a right white band around my image here so I'm going to come back into the mask edge and I'm just going to increase the radius of the the detection here and you should see that my edge here has become a bit harder I'm going to increase the contrast um, as well because I can still see some white kind of blurriness around the edge there and then we'll just shift it down a little bit to kind of really make that a nice high contrast you can play around with this and kind of get the effect that you're looking for so now we've got that kind of nice uh, contrasty effect okay I'm going to add a hue saturation adjustment layer to manage the background layer okay and this just allows me to kind of moderate that effect to quickly change the color in the background okay to something that I'm I'm happy with okay and now with these sets of layers up here I'm going to add another hue saturation adjustment layer okay and that means if I add this to the clipping mask that are linked together here I can now change the the hue of this part of the image too okay I'm going to use colorize as well and that allows me to now change the color of that image okay keeping the white areas of the image and then keeping the background color adjustment separate okay so we'll move this through until we find a color that we're happy with for this version okay so I'm overall happy with that and um, for this example so you can see here we've got the layers stacked like this where we have a background layer a hue saturation adjustment layer to control that background color and we can click on the hue saturation to kind of keep changing that okay and figuring out which colors going to work with the background and then with the the mask layer here we have a hue saturation adjustment layer to desaturate it okay and then a levels adjustment layer to adjust the levels so that we can get that kind of as much or as little detail in the image um, as we want around these kind of darker areas of the image okay and you can see we have a nice level of control over that even with the image as far down the production process as this because we're using this kind of non-destructive process and then lastly the hue saturation adjustment layer at the top that allows us to control the color of the silhouette in the middle there okay now we could go ahead and with the clipping mask here um, just add a new layer in okay create a clipping mask and then use the fill function to literally so shift F5 fill it in with one entire color okay so you could pick a color and get a, a kind of pure silhouette if that's what you wanted and that would be one way of doing it um, that's not what we want for this we want to kind of keep some of the detail of the image we get this nice uh, kind of silhouetted effect but then also with some nice texture in that image as well okay there's a lot of nice useful tools here that we've run through in this quick exercise i hope you found it useful um, and it's a kind of fun technique to to do and i look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial